Uh, this is a linear amplifier and I have it set, it goes on three bands. It uses a 6LF6 sweep tubes. I wouldn't use it on AM or RIDI. Um, and I'm feeding it with a KX3 uh, right now with about 9 watts. So feeding it with 9 watts. Uh, the output is up here. Uh, if I key it up now, uh, let's, let me key it up, and, and it says I'm only, it says I'm putting in, two, let's put the, let's match it. All right, it says 5 watts, and I'm feeding it with 9, so I don't know how accurate that is. Um, <coughs> so I'll put the amplifier on. And I will retune the, I'll match it, match it again, okay. And I believe the way this works is I put this down in that position and it multiplies by 10. The, so instead, it's 30, that's reading 30 milliamps right now. So that's probably the idle current. So I peak the grid in the negative fashion. Uh, and I'll show you that. Well, that's pretty much peaked right there. Yeah, I, okay, so I peek it in the negative, uh, and then I pu I'll put this over in the multiply times 10, and uh, key it up again, and let's put it in a plate position, and let's see if I can dip that, yep. Okay, it looks like about 250 mils, and the meter up there says I'm getting 50 watts out. I don't know if I'm getting 50 watts out, but... It's obviously getting 10 times as much as I got, as I was putting in, so, um, or is it 10 times? It's up, it's more, so it's more. We'll put it down on 40 meters, because it does do 40, and I'll put this uh, in the grid position, and let's match it up, okay, and I'll key it. And let's, let's go, whoops, wrong way. It does seem to peak up. There we go. Oh, I got to put this in that position. There we go. Um, so they peak the grid up. And if I dip the plate, okay. The meter up there says 100 watts at 300 mils. How much power am I putting in? 9 watts. So I'm putting in 9 watts. It says I'm getting 100 watts out. I don't really think so. But uh, that's a deal. Uh, I think it does very little on 15 meters. But I'll try it. Uh, let's go to 15. Okay, 15 meters. And... Uh, I'll match it. Okay, and let's see where we are on the grid. Uh, grid. Looks like it's pretty good there. We'll pick that up. There's a peak right there. Okay, and how much power am I putting out? Five watts. All right, five watts, so that's five watts. And it says I'm getting 15 out up there. Uh, let's put it in the plate position and tune this up for maximum. And it says I'm getting about 20 watts out. Uh, but I'm gonna increase the drive. Let me just make sure that I got a good match. I'm going to increase the drive. Okay, I'm going to increase it up to 10 and see how that, okay, and that says I get more, uh, about 30 watts out, about 30 watts, and so that's saying about 30 watts out for about, well, it went back to 5 watts here, the input, because I think there's a mismatch. Let me try them. Oh, it is matched. Let's, so... 5 watts, I'll increase it up and see if it, and now it says it's about 35 or 40 watts. 
on 15 meters. And what happens, as soon as I tune the grid, this drops down to 5 watts because you get a mismatch. So let me try and match it again. And how much power am I getting out? 5 watts again. And now I'm up to 40 watts output with 9 watts. So I'm not going to touch the grid. As soon as I touch the grid though, I'm going to get a mismatch. Alright, so that's about it. So that's about, and it's down to 5 watts over here again. So, because it doesn't like them, it doesn't like the match. So that's the deal.